Howdy, homesteaders. Today, we're going to plant some plants. around my neck it's because my wife loves me So we were able to get 21 tomato plants in this raised bed. Uh, we're going to see how that turns out. As you can see, these plants are ready to be staked up. 
Uh, the method we're going to use is obviously you see that we have the T-post in the ground. Uh, we're going to tie some string between the T-posts and string them up that way. Uh, and these, this row here is going to lean to the outside on this side. And this row is going to lean to the outside on that side. We're just going to trellis them up. We're going to do the same thing for the tomato plants in the other raised bed. Now what I really need to make this happen is I need to get me some string. Wow, okay. Uh, <clears throat> what this is, is this is a mason line. I got it at the hardware store. Um, what I really wanted to use was plastic twine. Uh, but I couldn't find it at the hardware store. I probably should have gone to someplace else. But anyway, uh, I believe this is going to work just fine. This is what I'm going to use. There's probably a lot of different ways you can tie these up, but uh, this is what I figured out to do, is I tied two strings right there, ran them across, and I tied a knot, which created a loop, and I put the plant inside the loop. Came over here, tied another knot, and put the plant in between that loop. And then also the last one, tie the knot and put the plant inside that loop. You want to make sure that however you tie them up, you give them uh, flexibility to grow. You don't want to make it so rigid that they can't move. So I believe this is going to work pretty good. I also put this T-post in the raised bed. That is so I have a post in the middle. For this middle row, we got three rows of seven. So that middle row of seven plants needs to be staked up. So I put this in the center of the raised bed. And then that one's not too far away. I could put it on the outside of the raised bed down on the end. And I could run my string down that way. That way I can string up all three rows. Another thing to remember, when you're stringing these uh, tomato plants up, you can lean them to the side. But be careful not to lean them so far that they break. Uh, once that main stalk breaks, you've just killed the plant. I just want to show this to you real quick. It's really important that you make these strings tight. Uh, that's not going to cut it. I'm going to have to redo that. Well, that's going to be a lot better. Now, what's going to happen is this plant right here is not tall enough to reach this level. So, you see how I got it crisscrossed right there, right? What's going to happen is when I go to put this other one in, I'm going to do this, and that's going to make another crisscross, 
and that's what's going to keep the plants held together. So when I do that, it's going to add a little tension to the string. And as you can see, they're all lean to the outside, which makes it kind of nice because now you got a full empty middle. So to make it easier to get in there and prune them. And like I said, as long as you don't break that stalk, you're fine. Uh, they will, uh, like these ones right over here, they are leaned over, but they want sunshine. So they're going to change direction and they're going to start growing up to get the sunshine. And when they get long enough, I'll do the same thing to these that I did to these and put them up to the next level. And if they get taller than that, to the next level until you get to the top of your T post. And after that, that's as high as you can get them. But I think that should be good for us.